walking west in Memphis. But and, and once you can do it really fast there, you know, and you're comfortable with it, and you know your your muscles get stronger, and you can do it all over the place. You know, that, that'll help your uh, that'll help your fast picking a lot. You just have to coordinate that view. Your fretting hand. Right, and that's when your scales come into play. You know, so once you can do that really fast. <laughs> so you, you, you play your, you, you just build up to that, you know. Oh you, yeah, that's you, a build up. <laughs> you play as fast as you can, as clean as you can, for as long as you can. And another thing I used to do, and this is an interesting uh, demonstration, I think, uh, is I used to take my, and I would do this every day. I remember I did this when I first moved to Nashville because I was trying to just work on my, my technique and my skills and stuff. I'll play that that one. Uh, that I'll play that. I'll play an A. I'll play it in uh, G. And I'll play it close. And then I'll take my fastest tune that I can play, which is what you know, which is Katie Hill, and I'll play it over and over again. And this is a good training exercise for your for your fast for your fast uh, muscles. And so here's Katie Hill. But I was noticing you were still getting that shuffle in there. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I was <laughs> impressed. As musical as you can go, do it going that fast. And so, you know, my, my left arm really hurts and my right arm really hurts. And you can see, you, you kind of start to seize up and your, your muscles don't work as well, you know, the, the third or fourth or fifth time. But that's really going to help you. So play your fastest tune as hard as you can for as long as you can. And then when you play it slow, it'll get a lot easier. <laughs> 